Be 35 year old hipster. Wake up in your San Francisco apartment. Your walls are colored orange and red, and the rooms are filled with modernist furniture and abstract paintings. Drink some protein shakes for breakfast. Change into hip clothing and put on your fedora. Get in your 2014 Toyota Prius and drive to work. Turn on NPR and rage at racist Donald Trump about how he's destroying America. During breaks, chat with your friends while drinking a mocha. Before walking to your car to go home, take a selfie and post it on Instagram. Drive home and get on Netflix to watch Stranger Things. After posting on Reddit, get back to sleep for another wonderful day. Millennial life is actually pretty comfy. Last year, recently moved to America to live with my mother. Go to my local AMC to see Terminator. Bring my olive oil bottle because I like to pour it on my food. The attendants stop me and hold the bottle saying I cannot bring it with me. Try to reason with them, tell them that it doesn't count as a snack, but they refuse to listen. I give up and leave. See a bunch of people lining up to pour yellow liquid on the popcorn on my way out. Why are discrimination and double standards rampant in this country? Be me, 12 year old Todd. Really want to eat tendies. Eat so many. Fast forward an hour. The urge to wav. Race to bathroom. Shit like never before. Time to wipe. Damn, that felt good. Wipe again. Wipe again. And again, etc. Feels good, man, the JPEG. 30th wipe. No more TP. Oh no. Lick a toilet and see how much I used. Couldn't fit more if you tried. 12 year old me panics. Must destroy evidence. Flushing does nothing, panicking more. Toilet gurgles. It goes down an inch. Water starts overflowing. My dad knocks on the door, asks if I'm okay. Yeah, just fine, done it before. Water seeps under the door. He asks what's going on. Full blown panic attack sets in. I desperately grab a handful of semi-dissolved shit-covered teepee and toss it into the bathtub. Vomit when hand touches lock. Dad breaks down the door after hearing commotion. Finds me shoveling shit into teepee into bathtub. Sobbing, hyperventilating, vomiting. I'm 32 now, and he still brings this up. Be me. It's my 20th birthday today. Friends and family all wish me happy birthday. Going out later for dinner and drinks with friends. Career going well. Have money in the bank. All material needs are met. Still no GF. Anyone else know this feel? Be me. Eight or something. Figure out how to use the internet on my DSi. Immediately find EF. Have no understanding of sex or anything that matters. Hump bed because it tickles. Get addicted. Proceed to hump bed to EF every night for the next few years before realizing what I was doing. Fast forward. B18. Can barely get off the normal porn. Petting my cat one day. Boner. Why did kid me have to be so fucking stupid? I start. Be cashier at a pharmacy. Spot a 300 pound plus fanny looking for a protein shake slash meal replacement shake. Give him a mask gainer. He grabs it, takes a look at the label and table of contents. Seems about right. Pays, goes out. My mission here is done, folks. Have you done your part today? Be me, 10 years old. It's Halloween, trick or treating. Need to take a fat shit. In suburb, nowhere to shit. Look for store with washroom. Find Arab grocery store. Ask if there's a washroom inside. No washroom inside. Oh shit, the JPEG. I'm about to shit my pants. No toilet in sight. Go behind Arab store. Take my pants off. Take a fat shit. Relief, the JPEG. Need to wipe. Take off underpants. Use underpants as toilet paper. Go back to trick or treating. There needs to be more porta potties outside. I don't want to shit my pants while outside. Walk out of restaurant. See cat. It walks towards me. Pet cat. Happy. Thank you, parking lot kitty. Be me. Was actually gonna end hero. Decide to jump off a bridge nearby my hometown. Standing on a ledge at one in the morning when I hear tires screech behind me. I turn around and see a pizza guy walking toward me, telling me not to do it. Yeah, whatever, I heard that a billion times in MP3. See, he has tears in his eyes. Tells me he lost his brother to suicide years ago, and he's always felt like he needed to stop someone else's suicide. I'm actually pretty moved by his story. I have a little bro. Invites me into his car and offers me the pizza he has. Drives me back to his home after calling his boss, telling him about the circumstances. All the while, he's shooting the shit and cracking me up. Really chill guy. We get to apartment downtown, and he offers me to stay the night. Open the door to his roommates drinking beer and playing Mario Kart. Laugh and game with them. Next morning, we part ways, and he gives me his mobile number and tells me I can come back whenever I want. Bus home, tell mum and dad I was out with friends. Be me! Or not to be me. Be me. Two minutes ago. Horny. 
Realize pick related is similar in size and shape to a butt plug. Loop it up, put it in. As I'm going at it, feel canister leave my rectum. Go to put it back in. Realize it's nowhere near my ass. Ah oh, shit, the JPEG. Try not to panic, walk to mushroom. Sit on toilet. Silently fart for a good 10 seconds before the thing shoots into the toilet at Mark 5. Pick it up with tongs and throw it away. So, it was your day, B. Be me. 18 years old. First blowjob. Feels amazing. Come buckets in her mouth. She swallows. Your cum tastes really bad, Anon. <laughs> I know. What have I done? Bear with me here. This is gonna sound insane. Whenever I'm on a Tinder date and I get nervous and can't think of what to say, I just start talking like Donald Trump. Like, not about politics, but I just start making grandiose claims about the restaurant or whatever with 100% confidence while gesturing with my hands to emphasize my point. I've been all over Houston, all over, excellent city. I've never found a sushi place better than this one. The folks here are excellent. They have the best chefs in the entire city. Beautiful people. I start spouting shit like that with the utmost conviction that what I'm saying is the absolute truth. I'm not even a Trump supporter, but speaking with such cocksure confidence in the bullshit you're spewing out actually works, especially when you're just mimicking his inflections and gestures. It's kind of funny, actually. Be me, flat earther. Friend works at NASA. Gives me a ticket to go to outer space. He said it'll change my views. Don't believe him to PNG. Go to outer space. See that the Earth is round. What the fuck, man, the JPEG? This can't be real. Realized NASA must have hacked my eyes. Be Mario. Princess Peach gets kidnapped for the millionth time. I have to go through several worlds and castles to reach giant fire, breathing total, kidnap the princess. Defeat him. Take the princess back. She gets kidnapped again. My face swam. Why waste your life running around with a Stacy whore? Marry Bowsette. He still believes she's been kidnapped. Childhood status. Not ruined. Ruined. Thanks, Anon. Turn 23 next week. Graduated college pre corona. Got big plans for a career. Send in applications to the top spots. Family and friends wish me luck. Everyone is rooting for me. Cut to now. My eighth month living at home. Three rejected applications. Unemployment pay runs out soon. Gonna have to put a real career on hold and pick up some other job. This is not what I was promised. This is hands down the worst economic and social period ever. I understand why suicides are spiking. 2050. Science has discovered a way to reanimate truly dead bodies. First person to be revived confirms that heaven exists. What will we do? How is it confirmed by one person's words? Fuck, I can tell you Spider-Man is real, but so fucking what? I know it is hard. I know it sucks ass. But even a tard knows it shall come to pass. The Trump has been stumped. You know it is true. I dislike it myself, but what can you do? Joe Biden has one, who Harris as well. One to see Niall. The other, a spawn of hell. The Republic is dead, voter fraud sort of that, but the GOP is so weak, they might as well be a doormat. We never had a choice when it comes down to this, without Trump we've no voice. Just pick a neocon, or a socialist. Want to be a comedian? Tell mother. She references the Joker, my first one she compared me to a mentally ill sociopath. A nuns, am I fucked, or is there still hope? Rudy Giuliani, in court. Trial is about election fraud. He turns to show the evidence. Texts it's a projector and hooks it up to his laptop. Your Honor, I have a wealth of crowdsourced evidence that will prove this election is fraud. Searches Google and address bar. Google search for Google appears. Click on the first link. Types in 4chan.com poll. First link is 4chan.org slash poll. Clicks on it. The site appears in a catalog mode with a couple of swastikas and yeah. caricatures. Searches fraud and clicks on the mega thread. Scrolls through the thread and sees a WebM that looks like a ballot tampering. Clicks on it. It's a Chinese woman giving birth in the middle of the street. Sorry about that, I think I need to update my prescription. All of a sudden, everything starts closing. Windows update in progress. He holds the power button to stop it. BC turns off. He turns it back on. Boot sector corruption. Cannot start Windows. Your Honor, the defendant has sabotaged my laptop and destroyed all the evidence. I demand a mistrial. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name Gora.